Hi everyone, Kimo here, and welcome to my home. Today I'll be creating 10 postcards as part of an international postcard swap hosted by my YouTube inspiration, Mark Montano. I've been following Mark Montano for years now and I've always appreciated his use of color, pattern, texture, and common household materials, stuff like cardboard or found objects or stuff that you find from the thrift store. Mark is hosting an international postcard swap where you make 10 postcards and also receive 10 postcards from other makers from across the globe. I've included some information below on how to participate in the international postcard swap and I've also linked to Mark Montano's YouTube channel so that you can check him out. If you don't already know who he is, please go and check him out and tell him that Chemocraft sent you. I've decided to create 10 mixed media watercolor postcards using this ready cut watercolor paper that I already had on hand. Now this is a five by seven size. I just needed to cut it down to a four by six size so that it'll be appropriate for this particular swap. Before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'd love to hear from you in a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part is of this particular project. And I'd also love to know if you plan to participate in the international postcard swap hosted by Mark Montano. All right, well, let's get going. For this project, I'll be using my paper cutter, I'll also be using this 5x7 watercolor paper that I'll be cutting down to size. My watercolor paint set, complete with a paintbrush and a straw. And I've ripped out this piece of paper from a book of mine that I'll be using, as well as a couple of circle punches. I'm going to start by cutting down that 5x7 paper down to a 4x6 size, which is an appropriate size for, uh, for a postcard and appropriate for this challenge. After cutting down this postcard to the right size, I have some excess paper left over, but I'm going to hold on to those and they'll actually be part of our postcard. I'm also going to take that big sheet of paper and just cut down some strips of paper that will add some color and texture to the postcards. Now we're going to decoupage some of those strips onto each postcard. I thought it would be nice just to place those strips horizontally across the postcard, which will show up as a darker background against the letters that we'll be adding a bit later. I'm adding a bit more decoupage glue to the top of those strips and we'll let it dry for the next step in our process. Now we're gonna add some watercolor paint and this is probably my favorite part of the entire project. I'm just dabbing on some of that color directly onto the card and using a straw, I'm going to blow to create this sinewy pattern now with watercolors, you have to act quickly because it dries quickly. So once you apply that paint, you shouldn't wait too long before using the straw technique to blow out your pattern. The effect that you get with this technique is going to depend on a couple of things. Number one, how thick your paint is. Number two, how, how hard you blow. So be open to kind of experimenting at this stage and you may get some very interesting results. I'm also adding blue here because I think that is just a pretty combination, blue and pink. It will make a striking background. I love here how the colors are blending and the pattern is emerging and it's becoming a really colorful and fun card. I'm using the same technique for all 10 cards, but just in different colors. Once the paint dries, I'm simply going to cut off the ends of those strips of paper so that they're not hanging off the edges. 
with the excess watercolor paper that we had left over as we cut down the size of this postcard, I'm now going to create letters and words. You can see that we have strips of paper, but also we've used the circle punches to cut semicircles and circles to help create our letters. When I was thinking about creating these postcards, I thought that I not only wanted them to be fun and colorful, but I also wanted them to be inspirational and suitable as framed art. So I chose words like hope, joy, and love, and found some inspirational quotes that I'll be scribing around these inspirational words. Using just the scraps of paper and cutting them into rectangles, circles, and semicircles, I was able to achieve a pretty funky font that looks homemade but also looks pretty modern. I found inspirational quotes from Gandhi, from Carlos Santana, and also from Christopher Reeve that I am scribing on these cards. I'm adding a coat of decoupage glue to the tops of each of the 10 cards to make sure that everything is sealed in place. And after that dries, I will be heat setting with a hot iron and some parchment paper. I'm just going to put that postcard right in between my parchment paper fold and iron it on for just a few seconds on each side. Of course, the iron also helps to make sure that the postcard is as flat as possible. And here's our final result. Thank you so much for visiting me today and for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And have a great day.